I bring the light to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed up. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it up. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot of threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That'll definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hopefully you appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m daily double uploads and you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing right now let's get straight into this video so today my nephews and nieces what we're going to talk about is the best shooting badges for season four after all the updates what are the best badges to utilize for a guard build and a spot up okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to talk about of course the guard build okay so one thing i always like to do is say hey let's work in the order of you got a brand new build what is the first badge do I need to start upgrading first, okay, as a guard, okay? And that first badge, hands down, is going to be Sniper, okay? Sniper is the most overpowered badge on NBA 2K21, I mean 22, current and next gen. Now remember, this is for current and next gen. For current and next gen, Sniper is the most overpowered. It says, jump shots taken with slightly early and slightly late timing will receive a boost while earlier late shots will receive a bigger penalty. Now, let's, let's just keep it a stack. Most of us shoot slightly early and slightly late. Well, no one's going to sit there and just do a very late and a very early, right? So the thing is, is that if you're a slightly early, slightly late person, this is always going to exaggerate that and pull it towards the green window, and that's how you get more greens. This is probably, like I said, broken badge. Should it be in the game? I don't think so. But it is the most important badge as a guard that you want to be able to um get up okay now the next thing is going to be this okay once you get your sniper badge as a guard the next badge that you want to be looking at getting is going to be stop and pop or rhythm shooter depending on which one you like to do okay stop and pop as you're going to see right here is boost shots ratings on standstill three pointers after dribbling really simple you know you like the left right or you sig up and then you run somewhere you stop and you shoot that pops up Stop and pop in combination of sniper is OP. Now, rhythm shooter. It is increases the chances of a May shot after sizing up your opponent with dribble moves. So if you're someone that's sizing somebody up and then you shoot, this okay, it'll still work with sniper. Okay, so I say sniper, stop and pop, or sniper rhythm shooter. That is the first and second badge you need to, to get up. Okay. Now, after you get that, after you either get your stop and pop and your rhythm shooter um max out the next important badge is going to be hot zone hunter there has not been anything that has changed with hot zone hunter hot zone hunter is still a very viable badge it's just not as overpowered as it been other 2ks but it's still a really good badge shots that are taken in a player's hot zones are giving a boost that's just pretty simple most for most guards it will be at the top of the key so that's the build that you want to get so we're all going off the premise that most guard builds are going to have somewhere over 20 to 24 badge upgrades now this doesn't necessarily mean they have to be hall of fame they can be gold there's nothing wrong with that but what i'm saying is is that if you are a guard and let's say for instance you only have well let's just say 20 right so we're seeing here four eight 12 all right let's say if you go in here right so then that means you have two more badges that you can get now we all know what the next badge should be right if you've been playing this long enough then you know the most overpower another overpower badge is going to be the blinders okay and the reason why blinders is great is because what blinders do is that a lot of people can crab a lot of guards crab or a lot of guards are able to get the defender to the left or right of them and this is where the badge really shines at jump shots taking with the defender close closing out in the peripheral vision if you don't know what peripheral mean peripheral means to your left or your right of you right will suffer a lower penalty and so basically it's just extremely op right it's an op badge and you never have to worry about missing shots when defenders are jumping at you from the side 
And then the next and last badge that you will want to go ahead and upgrade will be Mismatch Expert, right? Mismatch Expert, right? After forcing the switch, a player with this badge will have more success when shooting over the taller fender. That means, i.e., the center. If you get the center on you, you can feel comfortable throwing up shots because Mismatch Expert is going to greatly exaggerate your shot and have that thing go in. What happens is, is that these badges are stackable, right? So basically you can literally have all these badges pop up at one time and that's where they become very overpowered, right? You shoot in your hot zone over a taller defender that happens to be in your peripheral during a stop and pop, it's slightly late, slightly early, this is all gonna pop up and these, so that's what makes it seem like it's so easy to shoot on this game because of how much of these badges are stackable, okay? Now, after you get these main ones taken care of, there are some extra ones. Like sometimes people will have all these Hall of Fame and then they'll have a couple left, like, you know, like two or three badges left over. The ones that you want to go ahead and try to get into is Lucky Seven. Lucky Seven is really, really great at bronze, right? Really, really good badge. And then another one, it will be Dead Eye. So if you are able to shoot in front of somebody that is not taller than you or not three inches taller than you, then you want to go with the Dead Eye. And then another good one is going to be Volume Shooter or Green Machine, okay? So those are some ones that you want to keep in mind when you are working as a guard build okay now we got the guard builds um taken care of now let's talk about what i love is my spot ups all right my nephews and nieces so now we are talking about the spot ups right spot up shooters what are the badges that you want to go ahead and start knocking out and what are the top badges on next gen and current gen for spot ups okay so now let's hop into it so the first badge that you want to get as a spot up is the same. It is Sniper. We just talked about it. There's no need to go over it again. Sniper is the first badge you want to start leveling up again because even though you're slightly early, slightly late, it's going to give you the green. Trust me, this is the first badge you want to go ahead and get maxed out, okay? Then after you get that maxed out, the next badge that you want to go ahead and get is going to be catch and shoot right catch and shoot is pretty much self-explanatory for a short time after receiving a pass the receiver's ability to knock down threes gets a significant boost pretty self-explanatory really really overpowered by far one of the top badges that you can get in this game and again you want to get that catch and shoot because obviously you are a spot up it makes sense so you want to go ahead and get that okay then after that the next badge you want to get is going to be of course hot zone hunter right so you get your hot zone hunter right with your catch and shoot and your sniper again we're talking about stackable badges we spoke about hot zone hunter already but this is the order you want to go when you're getting your badges now i know some of y'all might think hey uncle demi shouldn't it be uh, by the time i get sniper i will have my hot zones yes but the problem is that hot zones is not as overpowered as it was in previous 2ks right so what you want to do is still get your catch and shoot next because catch and shoot and sniper those are extremely stackable but what happens is is that that combination is a lot more potent than hot zone hunter and sniper okay so that's the reason why we're rocking it like that okay and then we're going off the same premise here usually spot ups have somewhere between 12 to 20 shooting badges so let's say for instance if you just have 12 shooting badges as a spot up you literally with these right here are going to be great if you're going into that next tier 16 to 20 then these next two badges again are really really good to have trust me you want to go ahead and rock out with dead eye now here's the thing a lot of people don't understand that this year for 22 dead eye has more of a significant boost than blinders so actually dead eye is a more powerful badge than blinders but what happens is guards usually have people on the peripheral spot ups usually have people jumping right in their face okay and as you see dead eye jump shots taken with the defender closing out receive less of a penalty from a shot contest and if you watch my streams if you watch any of my jump shot videos you'll see a lot of times when, when i'm taking shots they're really contested and usually they're somewhere between 15 to 20 some percent but i green a lot of them because of dead eye okay so these four right here right now let's say for instance you do have maybe five or six left over when well, that's usually how it is because for me with my spot up i have like 22 so this is how mine's look right and then that next badges that i like to get really really maxed out is a combination either or just like for a guard it's going to be um stop and pop and rhythm shooter it's really about where you're spotting up 
it's either going to be corner specialist or it's going to be limitless spot up okay so you know your guard that you run with you know if he like he or she likes you at the elbow or if he or she likes you in the corner if he, he or she likes you in the corner excuse me then obviously we're going with the corner specialist which says d range shots taken from the baseline um of the court receded boost whether it's off the dribble or off catch and shoot that's pretty self-explanatory and then limitless spot up you do have to be behind the hash you have to be deep right but it's still good gives a boost to the shot that a player um that a player can effectively shoot standing three-point shots okay so you want to understand that you want to get that limitless spot up usually limitless spot up i mean not usually limitless spot up what happens is is that hot zone hunter will not be the option with that because hot zones do not go that far out so you want to get your limitless spot up if you're going to be out there now that's basically it for a spot up now for me i have a couple badges left over remember i have three badges left over so what did i do with those three and these are like i guess to say like the honorable mention or the next tiers that you want to look at that's going to be again lucky seven really really good badge usually more so suited for um guards because they're usually shooting the ball within those seven seconds but if you're um as a spot up i have get that i get that pretty frequently because if people really get over um aggressive with the primary guard and trying to help out a lot lucky seven will be very viable and then also you can look at blinders usually what i do is i just go ahead and throw blinders on bronze i rarely see that pop up because when i sit corner and you really don't have people coming from, from my peripheral because usually i get the center coming from under the rim jumping straight at me which of course is going to be right on my face and that's why dead eye is going to be the spot same thing for limitless spot up when you sit in limitless spot up you have that defender waiting at the um elbow right in front of you and if he hedges a little bit he usually jumps out you it's going to be dead eye so that's why you want to go dead eye and then of course the last one again it's all about preference but to me what i believe to be the last one that you could possibly use would be clutch shooter okay and again shots attempts that occur during the final moments of the fourth quarter or any overtime period receive a large boost if you're in the park basically once you get over i think it's like 13 points clutch shooter will pop up okay so anyway there you have it, my nephews and nieces these are the best shooting badges in the order that you should actually try to get them in for a primary guard dribbling guard and for a spot up hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did just make sure you drop a like you subscribe to the channel and as usual your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon on the banger man and you know when i say i'll be back soon on the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out